today I'm going to break to you a very fundamental knowledge. It is so fundamental that you all have done it, you all are doing it, but as I said, we are going in such a high speed of teaching that for everyone to understand the whole teaching is very, very difficult. It's extremely hard to follow it unless we recap every now and then. And today and next week, not only we try to add to the knowledge, but recap and add in a way that start making sense to a lot of you. If you go back to the original teaching, I try to use a marker that you can see. We spoke all the time about the plasma, and we said the plasma is expansional, and it expands. This, when we draw it like this, is we only speak about magnetical or gravitational. But this is the mean average both ways of what is given out as magnetical and what is brought in as gravitational. And gravitational is always more than magnetical. And the magnetical, if it gives too much, and gravitational does not take in plus one, or at least higher order strength, that when it becomes lower, it becomes the strength of the magnetical uh, disbursement of the field, then you don't have a mass. The mass comes when the gravity increases. So what we did, if you recap, we went into the stage of looking at very first original reactors, which was built in early 2005, 2006 and before. And we came and we showed the first reactor, which was a dome, if you remember the blue ones and the black ones. And then we showed that we put a cap inside. We made it two cores, the way as it goes at the center, one becomes a um, Caroline core and the other one becomes the what we call the outer core. In a way, we try to create two divisions of strength of the field. In some cases, we created a rotation in both clockwise, and some cases we did both anticlockwise, and in some cases, you could rotate one clockwise and one anticlockwise of the two. But at the end, it wasn't the physical rotation of the cores which counted, it was how the gravitational magnetic field in each section, or what we thought that we created a wall, decided to move. We had one section which created its own field, and with our knowledge, we created the second field. In so many ways, if we recap and go back and extend the knowledge on what we have added up to now, that has been that we have a Caroline core and we have a second core, what we call the outer core, has become traditionally known as. You'll find out does the physical barrier of what we call to be the inner core acceptable? Or have we got stuck with this idea, because as a physical, tangible ideas of existence, we had to give it a physicality, that we could say, up to there is this matter, and inside is different. In reality, we have seen physical matter now with the reactors, the guns, and the nanomaterials you made. Material state fields is irrelevant. What the field strength decides, inside or outside, which dictates the position and interaction. So, what we assume to be the Caroline core, for example, and is contained in the physical wall of the inner core, how we assumed and we could explain, which we was acceptable at the time, was that this inner core, where we have, like this, is with, is a solid, and we said that it holds containment of the matter inside it, that it leads to the creation of one field, and then the second field created in the, by the rotation of the outer core, 
leads to creation of two fields. One going this way, and the other one going that way, or do both go the same direction? Or, as we add it to the knowledge, and we know, for example, in the stars, in the, in, in the sun, there is no inner core, outer core. The boundaries are made by the interaction of the field's strength. So, in a way, the theory of the inner core of the Earth becomes invalid. Does not make any validation. Because now, what it is, is the magnetic gravitational field, which is made by one section, in different strength, in respect to another section, which is this part, now holds validity. Now, makes sense, because in the Sun, there is no layer, there is no um, solid core. In the Sun, in the stars, in the galaxies, we don't see solid walls separating galaxies from each other. We see the gravitational magnetic field strength, which creates that separation, point of uh, no interaction or balanced interaction. So, in so many ways, in what we've been taught from the beginning of the time, of the new science of geological structure of the Earth, where there is an inner core, and what we call the inner inner core, which is known as Caroline core, and the outer core, become totally meaningless. In the center of the Earth, there is a section which creates its own gravitational magnetic field, and through the structure, or whatever physicality, its field strength interacts with another field strength, which could be created by a part of the outer core, or the lower of the uh, physical structure of the Earth. And so, we receive the interaction of the two fields, which the interaction of the two gives us the magnetical and the gravitational fields of the planet. So, it is very interesting. Now that we understand this, now that we understand the structure, change with a simple, very simple idea, this outer core to your magnetical coil, and change this one to your gravitational core. So, what happens? They feel the strength of your gravitational coil, which you put inside each other, is not the physical matter of the copper and nanomaterial, is the interaction of the nano-coated material, which the field interaction where the field interaction of the nanocoated of the gravitational coil creates the field flow. So, if you make a section across your springs, which you made, what you should see is the structure of the inner part of the planet. You should see the structure of the inner part of a solar cell, a star. You should see the structure of the universal creation of the universe. Is a section in the structure of the universe which man has not seen up to now, or has not had the ability to look at it, or has not had the tools to see, to observe it, follows the same principle. Then the question to ask, are we in the inner circle, or are we in the outer circle? Are we in a gravitational field flow galaxies, or are we in a magnetical field flow galaxies? There is a reason I raise this point. Because, a lot of you, in past years, have followed the work, have been through it. Made the ping pong balls, made the steel coils, made the uh, small copper coils, you made the uh, 21 centimeter coils from the steel, and we all followed the procedure, step by step. 
to mature, to understand. Can I ask a question? Do you see my writing correct way, or is it sideways to you? Okay, good job. Let's see if we can change. Thanks for asking. Yeah, okay, you should have told. Talking is a good thing. No, we'll get it right one day. Let's see. Okay. Let's see what we're going to get. Okay, it's at the bottom of the page anyway. Next page, we can do it better. So, what we come down to is the reality that does the does the situation with what we gathered, um, or what we think, exactly what we see here? What is important is, has or have we missed a very big part in the whole of what's been taught in past few days, in past few weeks, be it in the private teaching, be it in public teaching. Because, I'm going to move this out of the way, and move a little bit that way, to be alright. So, let's look at what we have, what we've done. Go back to the beginning. Go back into what we started, and how we come. Because, by the end of this, today's session, you will find out a new dimension in a lot of things which you've done a lot of things which has been added on. Why I raise this point? Look at this, this is structure of what you call the Earth, in this bracket here, is the structure of everything has been done up to now in all the teachings. We have just changed the tools, we have just changed the elements. This is the first Iranian core, eight years ago, nearly seven, eight years ago. This is the first structure we did in Belgium, 10, 12 years ago. This is the same structure as the little gas balls you made. It's the same structure when you added gas in. It's the same structure as the center of the planet Earth. It's the same structure as the Sun is the same structure as your coils. Nothing has changed. Creating gravitational section, or creating a different section with a different strength, and then cascading it with another field strength, with another system. The present coil system we use, we use the same copper coil, nano-coated, gans-coated. What about if we use an aluminium pipe, and a copper pipe, and nano-coat both of them? Won't we get a more effective gravitational magnetic field? What about if you put the aluminium outside, and put the copper inside? Would the choice of material by putting brass and a copper, will make the difference. Because now, they feel created by the center, due to the composite materials within the gans of the brass, is totally different than the copper outside. Extend the knowledge, to the point where, this become your core magrav set, and this become your house. Can we create a system that the interaction of your coils creates a position within the house that you don't need no wiring, you work with the field interaction? 